Hey party unicorns, it's Tiffy. If you are planning to throw a New Year's party anytime soon, here are some tips on how to throw an unforgettable New Year's party. This New Year's Eve party is a pajama party in particular, so snuggle up, get comfy, and let's party. Decorations are a huge part of a party. You really want to transform your space into a magical wonderland. I found this iridescent tinsel online and I've also lined the ceiling with some hanging stars to create that dream-like feeling. Place these decorations all around the house, on doorways, or even against a wall to create an amazing photo op. I've placed a table with some New Year's props right next to the backdrop. You can order some props online, you can even make some yourself, or you can go to your local party supply and buy them there. If you have a tablet, set it up on a tripod with a light and boom, instant photo booth. We used an app called Simple Booth where you can actually email or text your pictures right there. So now that your guests have some amazing pictures to remember the night, let's add some interactive decorations to the party. Step up your drink game with these super cute disco ball cups. The best thing about these is that they're plastic so there's no glass at the party. Set out some noisemakers on the table so people can grab throughout the night and really boost the vibe of your party. I found these really inexpensive light rings and placed them in a disco bowl that I had. They fit perfectly. And to give all my guests a really festive look, I set out these headbands for them to wear. They are handmade and super unique and I'm gonna show you guys how to make these. First step, put on your unicorn onesie so you can feel extra majestic. What you're gonna need for this project are mini disco balls. These are actually ornaments that I had left over from Christmas and you can find them online. You're also gonna need some headbands. I also found these online. I would suggest grabbing the metal ones and the thicker the band, the better. So grab your hot glue gun and plug it in so it can heat up. Next, take off the top portion of the ornament so you have exposed the foam underneath. Now you have two beautiful disco balls that are ready to become a headband. Place some hot glue on top of the foam and carefully place the disco ball on one half of the headband. Let that completely dry, add more glue onto the other disco ball and try to align it with the other disco ball so they lie perfectly on your head. Let them dry completely and you have a disco ball headband. Since we're using hot glue, I wouldn't expect these to last the whole night but you could definitely get some cute pictures in before they break off. So we wanted to create some disco ball earrings, but these ornaments were way too big and were gonna weigh down my ears. So I found even smaller disco ball ornaments online, and these are actually going to make perfect size earrings. So you're also going to need some earring backs along with some round flat earrings. Choose a crystal or charm that will cover the flat back earring. I'm using a glass shard from the larger disco balls. Cut the string from your disco ornament so you have one strand sticking out. Now grab some glue, I'm using E6000, and place the dollop right on top of the flat back earring. Grab your string that's connected to your disco ball and place it on top of the glue. Then grab your charm and you're going to sandwich the string in between the glue. Let that completely dry, cut off any strand that's sticking out, and that's it! You have some amazing disco ball earrings. You can actually give these to your guests like I did, and I'm sure they will absolutely love the custom touch. Leave those on the table where your guests can easily find them, and be sure to place some more easily accessible accessories for people to wear. You'll also want to have enough poppers for everyone. Not only for the countdown, but you can put a fun twist by counting down the hours to 30 minutes to 10 minutes. I would suggest capturing some slow-mo confetti popping in front of the photo booth backdrop. You definitely want to have enough space for dancing, but since this is a pajama party, you need a comfy spot to chill. I bought some oversized stuffed animals to really give a chill, comfy vibe and make it feel like it's an adult sleepover. I bought these at Toys R Us and they are pretty inexpensive. Your stuffed animals will have a blast at the party. Not to mention they make super comfy pillows, especially when there's not enough seating around. To top it all off, I would recommend having a easy game set up in the center of the cuddle puddle. If you really wanna set the party ambiance, you can rent some lights or buy them and even put up a disco ball. I know you have to wait another year to have a pajama New Year's party, but I would love to see your pictures if you really decide to throw a pajama party inspired by this one. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it inspirational. This party was seriously my favorite party ever. And I'm so excited I get to share it with you guys. So happy new year, stay safe, and happy partying.